Welcome to the new Sex and Happiness with Lori Handlers and her partner, Michael Gibson. You're about to dive into a world where amazing sex is just around the corner. And happiness is available to everyone at any age. It's time to learn a little, laugh a little, and explore sex and intimacy from every angle. Hi, everybody. We're back with Sex and Happiness, a show about your sex and your happiness. And I'm Lori Handlers, and this is... Michael Gibson. Great. So we're taking questions from our Facebook group. Mm. And today, Michael has a good question. Robbie Donahue said, Man, I feel like I should be in a beginner's class. What about just starting with someone asking you on a date? (laughs) Great question. (laughs) Yeah, so what do you do? So, you know, Michael and I like to, to instruct people to find out right away what the person is like, what the potential partner Mm -hmm. is like, especially if you're attracted to the person. Mm -hmm. So we like to tell people to vet them. What does vet mean? Well, we did that. So let's just give the example. Okay. When when Lori and I first decided we were going to have a conversation to get to know each other a little better. And we were going on a date. We well, we hadn't gone on a date yet. We but were we, were, we, we, we had were, a date after the event. We were at a wine event. bar. Yeah. Okay. It was and, a date after the event. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So Lori asked me if I'd like to have a glass of wine after an event that we had uh, both been to, and and I said yeah. And, and that story is really juicy, but we'll leave that part out. But I said yes. And so what we did is we went over to the wine bar. We got a glass of wine and we began to talk to each other about the things that were important to us, like our values. And we started there. We started with, you know, what kind of work have you done? How much money have you spent on, you know, um, personal growth? Personal growth. And what are some of the, you know, what are some of the programs that you've done? And, and what did you get out of it? Yeah. And within about five minutes, I knew. I was like, oh yeah, this woman has done the work. She's she's clearly yeah she's she's clearly um, someone who is you know on the same kind of level that I am, and I really felt this this connection. And I said, you know, I said, well, I said, should we date? And then what'd you say? I said, sure, we should. And then she said, oh yeah, I come. <laughs> oh, I said I had a. <laughs> I said I came with a Surgeon General's warning. I will disrupt your life. <laughs> and he was like, what? what? But he found out that I did. Yeah, she certainly did. I did. I warned him in advance. Mm-hmm. But I guess I want to say all this to say, first of all, if you're going on a date with someone, you know, it's all well and good to go to the movies or something, but I don't recommend those kind of dates. Mm-hmm. I recommend dates where you can actually sit down in a place and talk to each other. Yeah. So I actually don't recommend noisy restaurants, ones where you can barely hear. Mm-hmm. I recommend going to places that are a little bit more mellow, mm-hmm. not a jazz club necessarily. Or a, or a concert. Yeah, or a <laughs> dance place. Those are great places to go after you know someone. Mm-hmm. But I think going out for coffee or tea or a nice dinner or lunch somewhere where it's kind of quiet and kind of mellow and you can actually start to ask questions about the person's values and they can ask you questions about yours. Right. And also there's something that we teach called the safer sex conversation. And if you're attracted to this person, it's really important to have that conversation too. Once you realize, hmm, this could maybe go somewhere, you want to have that conversation as well. You want to find out something about the person and their history and and where they're at with relationships. Absolutely. And here's something that I'd like to introduce, and that is the concept that typically when we go and we meet somebody and we're interested in them, what we're typically looking at are, what are your interests? What do you like to do? Do, Would it be fun? And am I attracted to you? Yeah. Would it be fun to be around you? Um, Am I attracted to you? Those are the kinds of things that we typically do. And what we're saying is, although that's fine, what we'd like you to do is up your game a little bit and start having adult conversations. Because, you know, that's a little bit more juvenile. You know, oh, what do you like? Oh, I like to bowl or I like to this. I, I like, like to that. ski. I like to dance. I like to dance. I like to do these things. That's great. Yet, that's also kind of the lower rung of this, uh, what I would call a relationship type ladder. So clearly what we're trying to say is, is that there's a difference between interests and values. And so if you'll have an adult conversation about values, it makes it much easier if you're um, attracted to someone like I was attracted to Lori to actually ask the hard questions, which is, you know, um, some of those relationship type questions. What is your status? What are your, what are some of your, um, I guess the things that you believe in as far as relationships go, if somebody, here's a value, 
is poly, uh, polyamorous and you're uh, more of a monogamous type of person, that's something important to know right up front, don't you think? So yeah, this is why we're, we're saying it's important to know a person's values more than it is what it is that they like. Yeah, very, very important. Mm -hmm. So thank you for asking the question, Robbie mm -hmm. Donovan. Yep. We love to hear from you. We love to get those kind of questions. And we love to answer them. Some of them are the hard mm -hmm. questions. And if you're struggling with dating, and that's just something you're just really struggling with, how to get dates and that kind of thing, we can connect you with some people that are really good at that. And so just reach out to us in the comments. Um, if you put the word date uh, in the comment, we'll know. Uh, and we'll be able to connect you with some people that we really recommend for that kind of uh, work. All right? Okay. And please come again next time and tune in to Sex and Happiness with Laurie Handlers and Michael Gibson. We will answer some other really intense and important questions. Mm. Thank you. We'll see you next time. It's time to feel alive again. Extraordinary Lovers Luxury Couples Retreat is designed to ignite your sexuality, communication, and ease with your partner all while enjoying the bounties of paradise. Join world-class Tantra teachers Lori Handlers and Michael Gibson as they share how to access new levels of ease, trust, and intimacy. Drink in the gorgeous oceans and beaches of Roatan's most luxury private resort. This small by design retreat will not only make you feel safe to explore with your partner, but also find true depth and connection with other couples in attendance. This retreat includes seven days and six nights of accommodations, all your meals included, and full days of transformational processes and teachings, all situated on a picturesque, clothing-optional beach and forest. Book now to reserve your spot in Roatan with us.